Well, this video, we're going to go through 8.6 um, in case you missed something in class or if you want to go back and review, if you were absent maybe. So what if we start slicing up a circle and we want to find the area of just a little slice? So we're going to call that a sector. Okay, and what we would need to know, uh, remember pi r squared gives us the area of the entire circle. So if we just want this little slice, we can actually multiply by, if we knew this angle, and we knew the radius. Okay, this angle, we know the circle has 360 degrees. So this angle represents some fraction of the circle, some percentage. So if we found that percentage and multiplied it by the total area, it would just give us this little slice called a sector. So that's going to be our formula for the sector of a circle. Might want to put that in your notebook. Uh, so now an example, we've got everything we need here. So x over 360 times pi r squared. Now we just plug it all in. The area of the sector is going to be 45 over 360 times 400 pi, because 20 squared is 40, uh, 400. So then you could, you could just type in 45 over 360 in your calculator, or you could, uh, could reduce it. It's exactly 1 eighth, or... Uh, 0.125 if you're on the calculator and then we just multiply that by 400 multiply that by 400 and you get exactly uh, 50 okay and then we could put the pi on at the end so either way you're doing it you get 50 pi so that would be the exact answer if, if maybe I ask you for an exact form like in terms of pi or if I say round to the nearest whole number or something, then you actually multiply it out. It'd be about 157.07 uh, so if I did a whole number we would just leave it at 157 because the next digit is a zero. Okay, so we'd say about 157 square centimeters or 50 pi square centimeters exactly. Okay, another, another example where this time we're given the shaded area is 14 pi. Okay, and so we know that that is equal to uh, x over 360 times pi r squared. So that's the formula for the area, but we're given the area. Uh, so if we're going to figure out what x is, we just plug in the radius into our formula first right there. So we get x over 360 times uh, 36 pi, because going to rearrange these in the other order. 6 squared is 36. Okay, now the next thing, this looks maybe a little bit complicated, but we can divide both sides by pi. Just get rid of that first. Just goes away. And the next thing, I, I think, probably the easiest, I mean, thing, kind of depends on how you look at it. There's a lot of options. We can try to cross cancel. 36 goes into 360. Um, we can we can actually divide that out. It goes in 10 times, so this could cancel and become a 1, and this could become a 10. So now we have 14 equals x over 10. And now just multiply both sides by 10, and you get 140 degrees because x is actually an angle. Okay, um, back to this step, if maybe you want to try a different way. Once you have x over 360 times 36, if you don't feel comfortable cross canceling uh, these two factors, you could also just multiply the other side by 360 first, because then 360, because then that would cancel this out. So do 360 times 14, you're just going to end up with bigger numbers and you need a calculator for this, because now on the right we just have 36x. So you could just divide by 36 and get get the same exact thing, but definitely going to need a calculator. Whoops, not 104, 140. So either way works. Example. Okay. Now what if we had something like this, where we've got a cord going from one end to the other end, and we want that shaded part. That's called a segment. So... The only way we can do this is if we're given the radius and what we actually do is create this triangle here. 
Okay, and this would be an isosceles triangle because the radii are the same. We would also need to know this angle. And the method here is to take the area of uh, the sector, which is what we just did, because that would be this whole thing, the area of the sector, and then minus the area of the triangle. Okay, we want to, if we take this entire sector and then we uh, subtract off the triangle, we'd be left with the blue shaded segment or the purplish gray. Okay, so area of the sector minus area of the triangle. And it depends on what, what kind of triangle this is. So I can't really give you like a straight up formula for this besides area of sector minus area of triangle. So let's look at a, an example. So area of sector minus area of triangle. So first thing, it doesn't matter which one we do first. I think it's probably easier to find the area of the triangle first. That's just going to be base times height divided by two. So that's six times six is 36 divided by two is 18. Okay, so the area of the triangle is 18. Then we could find the area of this, the sector by using our sector formula. So that is x over 360 times pi r squared. So x is the angle, which in this case is 90, because it's a right triangle. And then times pi r squared is 36 pi, 6 squared times pi. So now, probably reduce this fraction first. That's exactly 1 fourth times 36 pi. We're going to do this subtraction last. So then 36 divided by 4 is 9, 9 pi minus 18. This would be the final answer in terms of pi, because we, we if we don't multiply by pi, we can't subtract, because multiplication comes before subtraction. But if you want to get an approximate answer, you multiply out the 9 pi, which is about 28.274, and then subtract 18, and we get about... 10.274, or depending on where we round, I could ask you to round to the nearest whole number, which would be 10, nearest tenth, which would be 10.3, maybe nearest hundredth, which would be 10.27. So just depends on the rounding there. Okay, one more type of slice here. It's called an annulus, and it, I kind of also call this the donut. So it's like we're taking a, this white part and subtracting it, and we just end up with this, which is called an annulus. Uh, I have a real-life example of an annulus. My, my wife bought this cat, this cat box that's got, like, legs like this, and the, the cats are supposed to go inside. Actually, this isn't an annulus. What am I talking about? The cats are supposed to go inside this, and they never go in it. They just never use it. So here we go the area of the shaded region. How would we actually figure this, this out? Uh, how would we find a formula for this annulus? Well, let me go back and erase um, my cat, cat box that no one uses. It's all about the radius here. So we need to, we need to know the radius of this small circle and we need to know the radius of the big circle. So I'll call that capital R. That's a capital R. So if we find the big radius, R squared times pi, that'll give us the entire circle, including the white space. So then we just need to subtract off the white, the white circle. So formula looks like this, capital R squared pi minus uh, little r squared pi. So let's write that down, capital R squared pi minus little r squared pi. So now we're given um, this little, this little one is two and we're given the diameter of the big one, which is 10. So that actually means, um, the radius would be five. So capital R is five and little r is two. So we just do 25 pi minus four pi, just 21 pi exact answer. And then go to our calculator and that's about 65.97. In that case, I'd probably ask you to round it to the nearest whole number. It's about 66 square centimeters. Okay, that is it for 8.6.
Thanks for watching.